Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another First Descendant video. Well, we're back at it again with a brand new update, Hotfix 1.15. And with it, we have a whole bunch of changes. So today, we're going to go over, you know what to do. Let's go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started with today's patch notes because it does change quite a few things. Now, first off, this will be a live for the Xbox, Steam, and of course, PlayStation 4 and 5. Let's start off with content improvement and bug fixes under infiltration, operation horror on 400%. First off, they have improved the intermittent screen lag issue that has occurred when playing infiltration operation on horror 400%. They also fixed the issue where champion monsters attributes and reward information were not updating upon selecting the 400 score multiplayer in the infiltration operation hard entry UI. They also fixed the issue where the right HUD information would display a fixed max score of 50,000 while playing infiltration operation hard on 400%. For ETA 0, I like calling it A to O, they added a select all option and allow you to look all blueprints that you own more than one of when selling blueprints to A to O. And energy activator blueprints and crystallization catalyst blueprints can no longer be sold to ADO. And when selling blueprints to ADO, you can now only select blueprints up to the limit of rewards you can hold. ADO now continues to display the name of items that have been sold out. Next up, we have invasions. Under invasion, they fixed the issue with a mission marker would display at the previous location on restart after dying in the final battle area of Echo Swamp, the chapel when the invasion is taking place. They also fixed the issue where you could only join allies near the entrance of the final Commander Monster Battle area of Vespers, the Shelter Fortress, Quarantine Zone, and Echo Swamp, the chapel where the invasion is taking place. And also fixed the issue where the UI did not display normally on the start screen when starting an invasion mission. For Descendants, they fixed the issue where the outgoing damage increase per bomb of the creative explosion skill did not reflect correctly when using SMO's creative explosion skill module. And under UI UX, they added a button to the bottom of the game menu UI to check the event banner in game. And selecting a paint to dye a head skin or hair now highlights the descendant's head. They also fixed the issue in the forgotten comms device in ancient transmission direction facility missions in White Knight. Gulch, we're designating a beacon as a waypoint display to markers. They also fix the issue where additional monsters summoned by a monster skill during extermination mission displayed the extermination marker. And also fix the issue where some text in the inventory list sorted by reactor was not displayed correctly. Under miscellaneous, they added the dismantle all tiers option to exclude from junk filter. Added dismantle all tiers option to the tier settings in reactor and external components tabs. Selecting dismantle all tiers designates all reactors and external components you own as junk. However, enhanced reactors and external components with set effects need to be designated separately. Cash out bundles that include descendants exclusive items now display the text. The product includes an exclusive item and made some changes to the chat band word system. Now we have some director's comment. Over the next week, the dev team will be conducting a final preview of the PlayStation 5 Pro build. In order to deliver the PlayStation 5 Pro and have features on the day one patch of the PS5. And also there is an update for 1.116 that is scheduled to release on October the 30th. Now, first up, they have a new update yeah on special operations which is pretty cool resource defense i personally don't like these missions so they changed it it used to be a whole lot longer now the waves are only 10 stages so it should be a whole lot quicker and they also have the reactor implant system i've been thinking about this since day one the dev team's working on a reactor implant system to eliminate inconvenience of having to form new reactors every time you switch to a new weapon. So yeah, that is huge right there. 
And last but not least, what I'd like to highlight is on October the 24th, they will be rolling out a primary account setup feature on the official website. If you play the first descendant on multiple platforms and have linked your Nexon account, this feature will allow you to set up and change your primary account of the official website and play the game with the set primary account. So essentially you should be able to play your account on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC as long as you just switch it. So yeah, some huge changes coming my dude. Not bad, not bad at all. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. Hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Corporal Gamer, blow the white variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.